M0FXB, welcome to my channel. ICOM 705, on the right hand side here we've got full control with the SDR control app. Then I have purchased an M5 stack and configured this to have these different multimeters. There are other functions that it will do, but it is working via Bluetooth. And this is such a cool thing because the 705 has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and that's one of the things that make it completely unique to many radios on the market. It also has GPS. Now I'm hoping we'll get a lock soon. I do, I will uh, just wait a bit longer. The SDR Play app, which can be downloaded to the iPad and the Mac PC, and there are even better versions of it for the iPad. This is, I think this version is about 35 pounds, I think. So it's been a while since I've had it, but I keep this iPhone just because of this app. Um, so it's, you've got a dial just here, which is on fine tune, let's just tap there. That's a fine tune of all. There's actually a few about this morning. Now I can change all the colours on the waterfall as well. I can expand the waterfall as usual. You can use the radio as usual. change the brightness on your phone there is a tune button mic iPhone let's try that see if we can hear that just turn it up I'm not really an iPhone person let's keep tinkering you've got a settings cog here at the bottom there it says radio volume I know you can listen on the iPhone as well. You can walk away because because we're using Wi-Fi, we have a better range. And you can mute here. There's a whole menu here. If we go FT8 there, and then tap here, and then receive, it switches us to FT8 takes a couple of minutes to populate, but how good is that? And it really does work. Let's give that a minute. Look, USB digital, it's set everything for us. There you go, and it comes to life. And if I, I haven't connected my tuner, let me just connect it and then we'll see if we can get some TX. Okay, I've put the tuner in line, not sure if it will work. I might have to change some settings, but anyway, look at this. So we're on FT8, I'll just quickly show you. If we press the VFO, look at the screen. When it's on FT8, look at the screen, what it shows. It shows all the call signs. Pretty good, eh? Them down. Just want to show you everything that I like about this radio. Now, GPS has stopped flashing, which means we have a lock. Okay. We're on HF, but this is a D Star radio. Hold down DR. And we're on D Star. You can see there it's gone straight to this repeater. Now we're not showing DR mode on here, but it does still have all the frequencies ETC. Okay. And then we just hold down DR. Going back to our FTH screen, tap at the bottom here. Now you would press, I'm pretty sure you just press TX and it starts to go through the cycles been a while since I've used this. Ah, no, it's just refreshing. Let's try and let's try actually pressing one of the call signs and then TX. It does say wait right? I saw a TX happen there. But I have made a I have made a video doing the 
the whole FT8 thing. I just wanted to show you the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth working in this video. Now tap there, you've got all these different items here. Oh, there you are. I just heard the tuner kick in as well. That's good, so it is working. You go back to the, the VFO. Automatically disconnects until the next time. I love the way that tuner just, it just works and it's, it is designed to work on a 100 watt radio. I wouldn't recommend it myself, but I'm sure if it was 50, it'd be fine, but 100. There it goes again. See if we can see our SWR. SWR. You've got RF power, level, mic level, Vox, mic for the iPhone. SWR's fine look. It's a long wire. At the beginning of the long wire, there's a 49 to 1 ballon, then there's 66 foot length of wire. You can just buy the ballons and then buy the length of wire. It won't even cost you 35, 40 pound. Let's see if we can switch meters on this. It is all done via Bluetooth. So we've got LED mode, brightness, beep, screensaver, shutdown and exit. Ooh. I think to change over, it's actually, did you see that? It even shows that we're in TX. To change over, when you reboot, you have to press one of the buttons and then you can choose the other meter. Just give me a minute. You keep watching that while I do this. Okay, it was a short press. So you press the red button here, short press the middle, and then you can go down and choose one of the other ones. You've got DX Tracker, I think that's a, like a, what, almost like, um, you know, to see the activity. I will show that, but right now I wanna show you the, let's show you the ICS meter. Then that will load. We'll go back over here, see if, We've had any contacts, no contacts, but there it is. If you get one, then it, it goes red. It's letting that load up now. You know, with radios nowadays, radios that are coming out and new ones to come out, you're talking quite high prices now. So the prices are really catching up with the price of buying a new 705. So it's definitely one to consider. It's easy to get an amplifier if you want that extra bit of power. Get yourself an amp. I mean, it's a very, very portable device. And just, I've got these sort of handles on mine. There's it, you have the sort of traditional style meter there. You can see, it's very portable. Move you out of the way a minute. As you can see, and I've got this VFO because I use it with the R, RS, is it R, RS1BA, the software from ICOM. There it is there, there's your little tuner, chucked on the floor. It's very portable and quite a few different handles, you can 3D print handles. Now this one's a metal one, that's why I like it. See what you've got now? Like an old fashioned analog meter. You can actually buy them ready, pre, you know, pre-configure these. But all you buy them set, this is about 35 pound and it doesn't just do this item. You know, it works, it works on many different project type items.
Just tapping through the different settings, FT8, tune out. I think to, for it to tune via the 705, you need that special lead that, you know, for ICOM. So I think that's it for I'd show it you. Check it all out, very colorful, pure fun to use. Let's just go to normal HF a minute. Need to get onto LSB. Uh, it was better earlier, wasn't it? Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.